Uh, it's a good old-fashioned dance party here Friday night on Dinner Television. Uh, joined right now uh, by Ryan and Molly from Mother Mother. Thank you so much for coming in, guys. Thanks for having us. And this is awesome because uh, this is uh, in advance of so many things happening for you right now. Well, we heard right there uh, the new single off the new album. That's The Drugs from No Culture. Uh, ask, your, ask your mom and dad about that, kids, okay? <laughs> um, but let's talk about the, the, the song, right? Uh, what's, what's, what's the essence of this song? Because uh, you guys are very eclectic in terms of what you present on your album each time out. Well, what was the, the inspiration for, for this song and No Culture as an album? Well, this song um, is a metaphor for love, the drugs being, um, the, love being a better answer to self-destructive measures such as the drugs that was the obvious archetype and so that transfers over into the record it being sort of a concept piece about finding truth finding a better way finding yourself yeah no culture being a, a statement which suggests that if you shed your culture shed your affectations you, you get closer to your authenticity so that's sort of the general theme of the record it's interesting because, if I'm not mistaken, you guys recorded this uh, back on Quadra Island, right? No. Oh, no, okay. No. Sorry, misunderstood. Okay. Did a lot of the writing on That's Quadra Island. So a lot yeah. of the, the creation came from that. And so do you think that, that there is a link from the fact that you guys, you know, that was the message you were looking to get out with the album and the fact that you recorded that at your home base or wrote the songs at your home base? Um, I don't know if there's a direct correlation to the environment and theme. I think the, the quietude that the environment provided helped resurrect the theme or unearth the theme because it was a sort of an emotional uh, uh, idea that I wanted to translate and it was nice to just to have like complete quiet and focus in order to do that. Uh, of course, uh, the other big news is that uh, we've got uh, a show, a special show with our good friends over at Sonic uh, at the Needle Vinyl Tavern tomorrow. Uh, it's an intimate show, 300 guests or so. Let's be honest, Edmonton loves you guys. That's why you guys keep coming back here, I'm sure. What is it about our city, you think, that, uh, that draws you back every time? Oh, the people, the fans. It's, we always feel so welcome. Yeah, I love playing here. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Yeah, the people have a, a certain fervor, and the radio station, Sonic, it feels like a family, and they've just been so supportive in spreading the music and spreading the word, and that has just amassed into what feels like, yeah, a large friend group whenever we come here. It feels intimate and personal, and not just like you're doing business. Yeah, almost like our home base, in a way, <laughs> oddly enough. We feel very welcome. Yeah. Hey, Thank we have you. no problem claiming you guys. We'll totally claim uh -huh. you guys are on. Uh, it's interesting, though, because, uh, you know, I've been a fan of you since uh, Body of Years back in uh, 2008, nice. first hit the airwaves on Sonic. But as you guys know, there are people out there who kind of despise you. Uh, <laughs> I think the, the term word. that's been thrown out there is Canada's uh, most disliked band, or at least some people have tossed that out there. What do you think it is that, that basically creates that divide for people? Because, like I said, I absolutely adore this stuff. I don't know if that there is as strong of a divide as as that one article with that one headline has created in the consciousness the of yeah. people who see it because it is a recurring um, piece of drama by virtue of that one article with that one headline. There wasn't think, a census or something that no, happened yeah. and then we all agree that we are the most hated band. Yeah. I think it was just used in an article and then since then media outlets and whatnot seem to have used it over and over. So I don't know if it's actually a fan based thing more yeah. as than something that's been picked up in a media sense. And we're not even being defensive either. No. Like yeah. we, we have nothing I against. wish we were famous enough to be the, <laughs> the least favorite band. Hey, you know what again, like Please. Nigel pointed out, it worked for Nickelback, right? There you go. Well polarization is great and there are people who just don't get it like there are with with every artistic proposition. But yeah, I, I, we don't get the sense that it's as starkly disparate as, say, that article suggests. We don't get enough hate mail. I'm yeah. not waiting for this piles of hate mail to show up on my door. <laughs> That's not an invitation, mind you, <laughs> if you're watching this. The, the funny thing was, <laughs> when, when I conducted the interview for that article, the conversation was 
so easy, and it was with a journalist I've known for a long time, with a rapport, and there really wasn't much talk of this polarization. It was just like, yeah, what do you do? I'm putting out a record. Yeah, life is great. Music is wonderful. And then four days later, lo and behold, the most hated band <laughs> in Canada. It's it like, seems whoa. To, like pop up now. You're like, oh, stop yeah, it. It's <laughs> something about its. Um, coding on Google that it's like the first thing you see and yeah. has been for like five years. That's a powerful statement. <laughs> yeah, but it was very misleading because that wasn't the sense I got when I did the interview and nor that nor has that ever been the sense that we've had as being a band in Canada. Like I could understand how Nickelback would be like a lot of people hate us but hey we're really rich. <laughs> Well, you know what, if anything, I would say that that's really rallied uh, your fan support even more so. And I would uh, dare to dub you the most beloved band in Canada. Yay! <laughs> put that in print. Maybe that'll catch fire. There you go. Well, when we put this on the, uh, the web at some point later on, that's what we will slug it at. Please. Guaranteed. Please. We're going to try and shift the tide. We're going to change. Uh, real quickly, I I'm always curious whenever we do have artists in the studio, uh, as, of course, we're nearing the end of the year, uh, looking back on the past 12 months, and what stands out for you guys as... Uh, as a highlight from the past year? What's, what's the thing that really resonates when, when you look back 50 years from now on 2016, what will you remember it for? Oh, it's been quite the year. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try to remember it for making this album and how, um, yeah, I felt really good making it. It was an enjoyable experience and I'm proud of it, yeah. But there's other things, obviously. Pray tell. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, in line with that answer, um, this album was a bit of a breakthrough for me. It's the most honest record um, or group of songs that I've written, and that was born out of just getting more honest with myself and, and making some really positive changes in life. So, yeah, I will look back and think of that. Well, we are looking forward to uh, hearing the album in its entirety. A No Culture coming out February 10th, I believe. You yeah. got it. There you go. And two shows. If you're not getting into the show tomorrow uh, here in Edmonton, a private show, you guys are coming back next year playing the Shaw Conference Center. That's true. Yes. All right. The 16th of March. There you go, 16th of March. And maybe, maybe, I always love seeing you guys at Sonic Boom. So let's see if we can kind of make our schedules work and see you back on the stage out at uh, the park. As long as we see you. <laughs> see, you know what? The most beloved band <laughs> in the world. Mother, mother. Molly and Ryan, thank you for coming in. Thank you for thank having you. us. All right, so we're going to take a little bit of a break. Uh, don't go too far. We've got more dinner television coming back at you. Stay tuned.